Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your tarot reading here on Dove and Serpent Tarot. If Gemini is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. And if there's anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading. So try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger. And I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Gemini, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And there is the Four of Swords. Four of Swords. That's going to be interesting. Let's put that into some context. We're going to use our Dove and Serpent spread. Got more air energy. Got some, some very interesting things going on. Very interesting. Oh, with the Emperor at the end there. Um, yeah, I like this. Let's select our mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. This is the card that we're going to randomly select. We're not going to look at this card until the very end of the reading. We're going to set it right here. We'll put the alien on top. And hopefully at the end of the reading, that card will tie everything together. You know, give us the confirmation that we're looking for. So uh, let's look around here again and see what we've got. We've got some earth, some water. We've got some air right here, some majors, more majors, a lot of majors. And then we've got some more, maybe some challenging earth energy here. I see that there's there's a lot going on. I see that we're really trying to uh, overcome a lot. You know, I feel like we're, we're really, we're trying to get to this emperor here at the end. Okay, that emperor is us being fully in charge of our life, being completely uh, ready for every challenge that we're going to meet. This is us living our best and most successful life, right? So I think this is really serious. I think things are, things are about to change, right? We start with this one. This is the Eight of Cups. And I feel like you've been in a little bit of a rut lately, maybe the last few weeks, maybe just the last few days, right? We're trying to, um, well, we're trying to accomplish our will. We're trying to reach our goals, our milestones. I think that the work that you do or the life that you're, you're leading, um, the projects that you're involved with, the people or organizations that you're involved with, uh, family, friends, employment, career, uh, community organizations, charity, whatever it is that you do, whatever the work is, right? I feel like we're starting to just lose a little bit of interest. It's, it's, not it's not as exciting as it was, right? It's starting to just feel almost like a chore, right? Um, we're looking for something different, I think. Our heart's just not in this like it used to be, okay? And maybe, maybe that has to do a little bit with this star energy, you know, underneath it all. I think the star energy being down here below the surface at the bottom of the path of the dove is saying that we really are still, we're still searching for that kind of inmost spiritual essence of ourselves, of what we're doing, of our path in life. You know, we're still trying to be true to who we are. And I kind of think this air energy is clouding who we are a little bit. We need clarity. This is what we are seeking within, this clarity, knowing ourselves, right? Really getting down to our, our spiritual essence, yeah, this star. And this, the, the clear vision of this star energy here is going to um, really give us the, the spiritual insight, the intuitive understanding, and the knowledge of how to activate all of the rest of this energy and get to the emperor. The emperor is over here living their best life. The emperor is here completely in control, in command, um, can, can handle any kind of challenges that, that come forward, is not phased by difficulties, right? Enjoys them, looks forward to them. 
knows themselves. The emperor is very confident in themselves, knows who they are and where they're going, right? And we need to get back to that. Not that, not that you don't have that, but I feel as if this star energy down here is just getting a little bit, um, well, a little bit clouded by this air, right? We have a four and a five of swords. And starting with the four, I think that you are someone who doesn't really, you don't like conflict, you know? You want things to have peaceful resolutions. You're looking for the simplest and easiest and less, least painful way to, um, to settle any kind of issues that are going on, right? So if we are feeling disgruntled, disheartened, if we feel a little bit bored, or we feel a little bit just not in tune, a little bit kind of out of sync with, with what we're doing right now, with your employment or with your projects, with your creativity, with your, your aspirations, whatever it is, with your will, you know, with how you're, you're leading your life, how you're directing things. It seems to me like we're looking for the simplest way. We're looking for the easiest and simplest, the most straightforward way to get to this emperor, right? To get to that feeling of confidence, of really uh, enlivening um, what we do and, and how we do it. So we're looking for a straight shot, right? The Four of Swords is kind of like that bullseye. This is kind of like the real pinpoint coordinates. We're not looking to really go around and around and around all of this energy. No, just tell me what I want to know. Tell me how, do I, how I get there, right? And I think that's really important when we're trying to get to this star energy. Simplicity is really important here. You know, directness is very important to you. I think you, you don't want a roundabout discussion. You, don't, you want to get straight to the point, you know? And um, so I feel like we, we need to do that. We need to get straight to this point. And the star is the point. This is the point of all of it, right? This is the only point worth, uh, worth achieving. Um, but to get there, we might have to go through a five, right? We might have to stir things up, stir up that four of swords with, some, with that five energy. So if we're looking for just a um, kind of an easy, an easy resolution, an easy solution, um, we may not get that. This might be a, a difficult thing. It might, be, it might be rather challenging. It might be a pretty serious thing. Okay? We may have to go through uh, quite a few hurdles in order to get this, this change uh, underway could be that you're tangled up in a lot of different things and it's it's kind of challenging to unravel everything you know um, it could be a complex situation with your your work life your home life your friends your family the different things that you're involved with it could be that there's a a lot in the way of a smooth transition a smooth exit a smooth change we do see the card of change. This is the two of discs. It's up above everything. It's at the top of the path of the dove. It's the card that we are, we're looking at this. This is, this is what we want. This is what we need. We're feeling this over here. We're feeling uh, a little bit of, of melancholy, a little bit of just kind of despair because we're not, we're not fully living our life. We're not we haven't discovered our star or that star energy, your soul, your spirit, your, your certainty, your spiritual insight um, about what you're doing, where you're going with your life is kind of muddled by this air energy. So we're here. We're eight of cups. We're looking at change, right? We're looking for things to be a little bit different than they are. Um, and I think it's, it's more complicated than just, hey, just do something different, right? You don't like your job, leave. You don't like your, where you live, move. It's not that simple, right? It's never, it's never that simple. So the first thing, my cat is here to, to uh, help move this reading along a little bit. The, the thing that we have to do that's really the most difficult thing is 
moves what's right in front of us is this emperor. I mean, not the emperor. That's the emperor. The hanged man energy. Okay, this is the difficult part of it. This is knowing that we have to, you know, that, that change is going to be a difficult thing. That it involves giving up things. It involves giving up the comfort, the, um, the familiarity, right? It's putting ourselves in an uncomfortable position for a shorter or longer duration of time, depending on what we're doing and kind of how drastic these changes are. Um, and really how, how complex this air energy is that's, that's kind of getting us, um, getting us through to this, this star, right? So depending on how complex all of this is, there is more or less that we have to suffer, really, right? That we have to give up, things that we have to change, um, things about ourselves that we have to confront. There's a lot of, we've got, we've got a seven of pentacles in the position of what we don't want, but what we need. This card right here is pretty much what we have to confront, right? We don't want that. We need that. We need to explore that. Um, we have both of, both of these energies here, right? The Eight of Cups, the Seven of Discs. This is kind of how we feel about the situation and why. And we have to explore these. And yeah, that's stressful, right? These cards, all these four cards here in this, in this kind of pattern right here, these cards are a little, these are the darker cards, right? There's a little bit of shadow involved here. And these are, um, this is kind of the, the internal work that we have to do to get down to this star energy, to make the changes in our life that we need to in order to find out who we really are, what we really are, where we're going, why we're going there, how to do it, you know. And really the result of this kind of discovery is the emperor energy. But we have to go through the hanged man to get there. And this is a... Uh, in some ways, like a death and a rebirth, right? We have to leave some of these things behind. We have to sort out some of these tangles that we're in uh, here at, at, on the path of the dove. These tangles here, right? If we can sort those out, then we can sacrifice them to our higher nature, our higher aspirations, our goals, and we can activate this emperor energy. So we're ready for change, we're looking for change, we're embracing change, and we know that it's going to be a little bit, a little bit difficult, right? But see, this card contains the key. The Five of Swords contains the key. And it's a very, very simple key. Not complicated at all. Basically, turn this card upside down, right? Basically, just turn this upside down. This is literally the power of a positive attitude, you know. And Gemini, I think that we struggle with our positive attitude sometimes. You know, part of that Gemini nature. It's, um, we kind of swing back and forth, you know. But the fact that we can try, we put forth the effort, right? We kind of, we, we have to fake it until we make it, right? We have to try to be positive. And I think a great way to, to be positive, to, to force it really, or to activate it, let's say, um, is to also embrace that aspect of the hanged man that is giving of itself to others, being of service, right? Giving up part of ourselves for the benefit of, of other people. And I think that is a way for us to get out of our head because this is a lot of air energy right here. You know, these swords, this is a lot of, this is a lot of air energy. This is a, a desire for simplicity and calm and clarity and focus, but we're not getting it, right? We were too much in our heads with the five there. Maybe there's ne negative thinking. Maybe the internal dialogue is pessimistic, is discouraging. We need to change that, right? We need to change this upside down. The four still looks the same, but the five now, the five is standing straight up, right? 
The five is, is really um, confident, positive, uses the, the positive affirmations, um, tries to find positive solutions that will help us make this, this change or that will make this change a little bit easier. Yeah, because maybe this isn't so much about choice as it is about, like with the, with the Eight of Cups here, accepting the reality of it. Maybe this isn't something that we have control over. Maybe this is a change that is causing a lot of stress on us. And we don't have much of a choice but to deal with it, to endure it, to suffer it. Yeah? So we can start by changing the way we think a little bit, by trying to put on a, a, a positive outlook. You know, put a, a positive face on, as they say. But that's going to bring us over to the path of the uh, serpent here, which has a lot of major arcana. We already we have a lot of majors here too, and that's kind of what's making me think that yeah, maybe this isn't something that we just f figured out. We don't like something, and we're going to change it. I think, I think the change is kind of it, it's coming, you know, almost involuntarily, you know. But we can choose to endure it in the right way, in the positive way that's going to bring us the ultimate success that we want. It may be a lack of control now that's going to become control with this emperor energy at the end. Okay, But first, we got to talk about the lust or strength card, the 11th mystery of the tarot. This is the number of magic. This is the card that is you using your magic. And magic is causing change to occur in conformity with your will. Right? To know, to, to do this, we have to know our will. And to know our will, we have to know this star. We have to know who we are, what we are, what we want, where we're going. Right? We have to, we have to clear out some of this energy so that we can really see what's going on down here. And upon doing that, then we can start plotting our course, right? We can start um, really discerning our orbit so we know how we're going to get up here to this emperor energy. Um, so I think this magic comes from us being able to take what's available to us, take the resources, take our environment, take the energy, the situation, the circumstances, path of the dove, take everything on the path of the dove here, and we use it to create change in conformity to our will. So we may feel like this the situation itself we have no control over. It's inevitable. This is kind of, the, I mean, this just, this doesn't look like the best stuff right here, right? But this is all going to be some of this magical light and energy and power that we can harness. This card's about harnessing this power and using it to create what we want in life, you know? And it's no coincidence that the very next card is this devil energy because this devil energy is, uh, this is your will being extended out into the world. Yeah. This is, it's not even really confidence or, or power or magic. It's just sheer uh, endurance and strength. You know, it's committing to something with full force that there is no force, you know, in the world that can push you aside. You know, this is, um, this is having infinite power, infinite energy. So we're, we're really harnessing what we've got here. We're harnessing all of this energy and we're channeling it into this determination that it is just going to embrace the change, um, take control of the change and direct it in the direction that you want to go. But to do that, we have to, again, we have to know our star. We have to know who we are, what we are and where we're going. And that's not, that's not easy to do. That's the diff That's the serious part of this, right? is figuring out, okay, now that all of this is going on, what do we do? Now what? You know? And a lot of this is about positive attitude, positive 
affirmations, positive thinking. A lot of it is about uh, acceptance and surrendering and channeling all of that into this luster strength card, right? Into this magical ability, into this direction, this, um, this stamina, endurance, this commitment. The devil energy here, this is, the, this is the energy that's going to climb whatever mountain you put in front of it. Okay, and it just so happens that the mountain in front of it is this seven of pentacles. This is the fear. This is the fear that, um, you know, we're getting older. We're not succeeding like we thought we would. This is the fear of, the fear of failure. It's the fear of fear, and it is the fear of, of failing. And, you know, the only earth energy that we see on the path of the dove here is this two. And this is telling me that whatever work we're doing here, it kind of feels like it's a career thing or something related to, um, you know, the work we do over the course of our life, right? Like a career or something. But it feels to me like the, all of this effort, all of the work that we've been doing, it hasn't been very stable. It's always been fluctuating. It's always been uncertain. It's never really solidified. It's never really created that kind of stable success that we want. It's always been um, quite volatile. So there's this, this need, this requirement for us to confront this, confront this fear um, and again, this is one of those, one of those kinds of feelings or, or energies that are going to go into this luster strength card. We have to own it. We have to take full responsibility for how we feel and what's going on. Yes, this situation on the path of the dove might be something that was out of our control. It might not, it's just, maybe we got laid off, maybe the industry slowed down, whatever it is. Um, We've got to take responsibility for our part in it. We've got to own it. We've got to use it as a, an empowering thing rather than something that weakens us. Okay. Um, so there's a lot to confront here. And yeah, the seven of pentacles, this is the fear of all of our efforts really not amounting to anything. This is the fear of, of not getting to the top of the mountain. But you've got, you've got this devil and you've got this, this fire behind you, you know? So I think we're going to get there. I don't, think there's any, I don't think there's any question about it. I do feel like things are changing quite quickly. I think whatever this was was unexpected. The Path of the Dove stuff, I don't think you were expecting this, you know? I think it was, it was always kind of shaky. It was, never, it was never that stable, but you weren't really expecting it to kind of happen the way it happened now but we're we can handle it right we can use this as an opportunity because this really is the this is the best and brightest card on the table right now i mean if you look at the overhead here this is well that's the that's the sun at the top of the mountain there right that is that's amazing that is the the brightest card here and I think behind it is this star energy. You know, we can put that right there. I think behind the emperor is that star. That's the key of it all. That is the combination that is really going to um, be the, uh, the, the crucial part of this magic that we are, um, that we're unleashing, right? That we're wielding, that we're harnessing, that is going to get us to the top here. So I think that this is really um, it's really an opportunity, right? It seems like it's a very serious thing. It, it's frustrating. It's causing some anxiety, some uncertainty, but I think it's the best thing that could happen, you know, because it's forcing you into this opportunity. It's forcing you to, to own your power and to, to push yourself in the, the right direction. Yeah rather than trying to stay in this situation where, yeah, it was comfortable, it was familiar, but you weren't happy, you weren't fulfilled. We're changing that now, you know? We're kind of, we're forced, we're thrust into it. But sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes you have to just jump in the pool and, and learn, you know? Well, let's look at the mystery card now. Uh, I'm curious what this is going to be. Thank you, Alien, for your assistance today, if I can get him 
to stand up. Nope, he wants to lay down, I guess. That's fine. Uh, what is this going to be? I would love to see some very, um, very steady earth energy. You know, a six of discs. Um, well, or the perfect complement to the emperor, the empress. Um, also, maybe would, maybe would like to see the lover's card. It would be your patron card. It is the Gemini card. Well, let's, let's just take a look, okay? We've got the moon. We've got the moon. The moon is another card that um, is really heralding in a significant change. So this idea that this was abrupt, but that this is going to lead to the best life for you um, is confirmed by this moon card. Now, the moon card is also a very scary card. This is nighttime. This is the sun's going down, right? This is um, the monsters that come out at night. In a situation like this, there's worry, right? There's just a lot of anguish mentally, emotionally. We see that already in this, just kind of this area on uh, the table connecting these cards. Um, but there is this certainty that the sun's going to rise again. You know, as scary as it is, uh, as the, you know, the forest is or whatever at night, we know that the sun will eventually rise. And that's what this card is, is really all about. It's like, hey, let's, let's use this darkness for whatever we can. It's here, right? We're stuck in it. We have to kind of wait it out. Uh, we know the sun is going to rise, so let's either enjoy the nighttime or let's learn from it, right? Let's learn to not be afraid of the dark, yeah? Metaphorically speaking, I don't, I don't think you're afraid of the dark. Um, it was a good show on, on Nickelodeon back in the day when I was a kid. Anyway, um, I like this as the confirmation card. This is showing me that really that the sunrise that's coming is going to be beautiful. And that's going to be really you as, as emperor with the star there behind you. This, this is the sunrise that we're looking for. And this is the nighttime that we have to endure, right? But you're making the, the most of the darkness while we're here. You're putting it to good use. You're harnessing it, you know? And this is giving you power. And that's how we're going to you know, maybe, um, maybe guarantee that the sun's going to rise, right? We're going to be part of that, of that sunrise. So I think this is a really, this is a really fine, um, confirmation card. I like this one. We're going to go ahead and do an extended Gemini. If you would like to stick around, just click on the link that is up here somewhere. Uh, that'll give you access to all of the extended readings, not just for Gemini, but for, um, every sign. Okay. I want to thank you so much for being here. I want to thank you for letting me read for you. And uh, I'll see you again very soon.